Dude Skill Bite here. And in this video, we're going to talk about finding top dead center and setting your distributor face, pointing the right way. So what I have done first is I've got the number one, which is this one on a Chevy, small block Chevy. And I got the spark plug out of it right there. And I took a piece of paper towel and I literally crammed that in the hole. Okay. It was stuffed in the hole tight and you then turn the engine over. Theoretically, if the exhaust valve is open, there won't be enough compression to push this out. In my case, I turn it over. I actually use the key. The, the ignition is disconnected. Make sure it's not going to short. And make sure nothing's interfering with your distributor, your rotor turn in there and everything. And then I bumped it over. And this thing literally popped. <laughs> yes, it popped out. It shot out. It was pretty funny. And so now I know it was on compression. So then I turned it with a wrench so that it is... It's, I know it's horrible mark down there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's right about 9, 10 degrees before top dead center. Which is where I want it. Now, I come over here and I look at my distributor. So, on a small block Chevy, that rotor should be pointing about here. And that's off. I mean, it's quite a bit off, which would probably explain why it wasn't starting and really wasn't getting any fire either. That's the thing. And yeah, that's way off. So what we're going to do is loosen the distributor up. We're going to have to pull it out and turn it to get it to point in the right direction. Using a 9 16 inch wrench, I removed the distributor hold down. And now we're going to pull it up and out just enough to get that rotor pointing basically at that number one cylinder. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, and it's gonna want to turn clockwise. So you want it about so, oh, <laughs> the other thing. So that's about right. The other thing you're gonna run into is the oil pump shaft there's a little uh shaft that goes actually below the distributor that it has to connect to and well it's not going to be straight because it's not going to be lined up so what you're going to have to do <laughs> shoot we're going to have to pull this out look and see let me just show you ah oh, let's make it dripping um so you can see in there that shaft that's it's like the uh, bottom of a flathead screwdriver and it has to line up with the oil pump shaft that's in the engine and to do that we're gonna have to take a long flathead screwdriver index where you need it so if this is I keep it in the frame so if this is about right there Turn it, okay, so about there. And then it's actually gonna engage when it's a little lower. So I want it turned about like so. <laughs> and then you're gonna have to play with it till you get it to actually engage. Okay, if you look all the way, way down in there. Let it cooperate, you can see it. Using a flashlight and a really long screwdriver engaging it and now I'm turning it about right there okay make sure the end of the screwdriver is clean so you don't get dirt in your oil 
Now we're going to put the distributor in. Okay. Now it's going to, the rotor will want to turn. And boom, we're down and it's pointing in the right place. I couldn't do that again if I tried. <laughs> but, but that is how you do it. You can see, you can turn the distributor. This is how you do the timing. You can turn that distributor and the rotor still point in the right place. This is what your timing is. And you want this to be setting somewhere, somewhere right in there. And on a small block Chevy, it rotates clockwise. So in order to advance it, you would actually, well, here's your vacuum advance. So it's pulling it like so. That's advance and that's retarded. So that's how you would adjust it. And there is no, you just got to kind of get it. We got the timing mark where we want it. We got the distributor basically where it should be. It's pointing to the right cylinder. Make sure you can put a mark here or on the cap. Of course, you can see it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. Okay, when you put this on, this is number one. Make sure your spark plug wire goes to the number one cylinder and that the firing order is correct. So the cap actually indexes into the base so you get that where you want it remember where that rotor was pointing to number one this is number one follow that cable should go number one i need to put the plug back in and then you'll want to put the hole down in but don't have it too tight just enough to keep the distributor from coming up and where you can turn it a little bit because you may have to adjust it a little and of course you got to get everything plugged back in which is always fun and we'll see if it's uh, gonna actually start and the yellow thing is just acting as a uh, bit of a choke At least we're getting something now. Oh man, it's starters, look at that smoke. It's a brand new starter. This thing just doesn't want to turn over. All right, well, obviously there was a lot of smoke. The uh, exhaust never got hot, but you did hear it fire a little bit, that's good. So the starter needs shimmed. It's actually stuck in this flywheel. I should have checked that before. I'll have to do a video on how to shim the starter. All right. Well, there you go. Failed to start, but at least we got it. It did fire some, at least. 